Hi and welcome back to Dr. 64. Today we have another keyboard issue and uh, the problem here is the delete key doesn't work. Sometimes it works but most of the time it does not work properly. All other keys work perfectly but the inst delete key doesn't work. If I press a little harder then it works and if I push let's say with the normal pressure it doesn't work. So let's find out what the problem is. Okay, because um, it's depending on the pressure I give here on the keys I think it's the keyboard itself. It's not the CIA on the motherboard. I think it's the keyboard matrix itself. So let's do some measurements here. Let's switch the power off. Let's disconnect it. Okay. Put the main board a little bit aside. And now we have here again our schematics and as we see the delete key is PA0 and PB0. That's the cross point of the delete key. So let's measure the resistance of this cross point. And here we see PB0 is pin 12 and PA0 is pin 13. So let's connect this and let's check. Okay, I've made some adapters here that I can put in. That's the pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, okay, okay, so then let's check first if we have continuity, if we press the key, continuity so let's check if we can measure the resistance okay. okay if I press hard then we have some hundred six hundred ohms if I press harder four hundred three hundred ohms four hundred ohms okay if I press, let's say with the normal pressure, I would press all the other keys, then we have some kilo ohms. So then let's compare to, to another key what resistance we can measure here. For example, if we use the return key, then it's uh, again PA0, but then PB1 and PB1 you can see here is pin 11. Okay, then let's connect this one instead. Pin 12, disconnect and put it in pin 11. And let's see what we measure now. Oh, okay. If I press another key, nothing happens, that's okay, so the return key is pressed. 50 ohms. And it's not dependent on how hard I press the key. Not really dependent, only some ohms difference. If I press now really hard, 
then we have around 52, 51 ohms and if I press only a little bit then, I, then we have uh, 64 so that's much better continuity than the delete key so next step is we open up the keyboard matrix Some screws are slightly corroded. Here we have to desolder the two pins. The PCB here it's loose already. Okay. We heated up the soldering iron, put some water here. Okay, that's done. So now it should be loose here or so. And our inst delete key is that one here in the corner. In total, it looks pretty good. It's not so bad. So we clean up the whole thing. Some isopropanol alcohol. Today I will take a small towel scrub a little bit over it only very gently not too hard so I will take a cotton swab spray it with the propanol and then yeah, that's the key Gently. It's a little dirt, but let's see if that uh, made this bad contact. What's this? Mm, delicious. Okay, let's clean it up. <laughs> Clean and nice again. So let's reassemble that. So now I will screw only some of the screws back in again, that it don't falls off again. Counterclockwise first. So that I can snap in and don't damage the already existing thread here on this side I will screw in some more of the screws so that they can be sure that's not because of the missing screws that it, the keyboard is not working okay that's all for the moment so let's check again. Press the key again. And that looks much better. I would say it's fixed. So let's try it with the main board. C64 is switched off. Put in the connector again. Okay, now let's switch on the power again. And let's try the key. 
keep what? All stuff. Okay. It's working as it should. And now, the moment of truth. Let's go back here. Yes! And I press really gently. And it works. Very nice. Okay, that was a really easy and quick fix, but I only wanted to show you that you can measure the resistance of the keyboard keys, like I showed you. They have only some ohms, let's say up to 100 ohms should be okay. But if you measure some kilo ohms on the keyboard connector, um, then something is wrong with the keyboard. Then you have to check the contacts of the keyboard keys like I showed you and now we will solder on again these two wires put in all the screws again and then we are done Ah, and by the way, if someone of you know what circuit that should be I soldered in here, then please leave a comment in the comment section. Bye! So thank you for watching, stay healthy, I hope to see you soon on this channel. If you want, you can leave a comment down in the comment section. Have a look into the video description, there I always put some helpful links. And if you want and you like the video, it would be very nice if you leave a thumbs up. So until next time, your Dr. 64.